Morning, Tuesday. So you got a sore foot again. Two forty-five, sixty, fourteens. Yeah, it looks like I need a set. I'd like to go taller, just for RPMs on the highway, if anything, because this is not going to be a rocket by any means. So. Decided to forego the door on this side today. Instead, I went to mount up an air cleaner. So this is what I have come up with. Some PVC pipe. Uh, yeah, so. Come on. Things are stuck together here. So it's got the hole in the bottom. Uh, you slide it back, pop it there. Notch this out with a jigsaw, works really slick. But you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, yeah my notches aren't matching. That's fine, it works. So now what I'm gonna do is down in here, I'm just gonna build a little, a little trough and drill holes into here because this is open to the front through the grill. Cold air intake. But uh, I don't think I'm going to weld it on. I think I'm just going to drill and tap. But yeah, I'll make a box, flange it a little bit. This way it won't it won't be bouncing constantly. Well, mind you, with the air cleaner in it, the filter in it, and attached, it shouldn't bounce much anyway. I could leave it like that, but let's make it colder. Uh, I figure uh, two inches all the way around, then just a flange. So next, I think I might do that with the fender off, because that's kind of what I was going to do anyway today, was just pull a fender, and I just want to do, do a couple preliminaries. So yeah, happy with that. So I guess I'll move on. Yeah, this edge is flimsy, but once I weld a, once I weld a vertical, a vertical to it, hmm, I think I need my brake. That sucker's heavy though. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on that and uh, rip the fender off now and see if I can. Get that piece finished. Oh, I'm back. Got this off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make a panel that probably will go in here. You see, I'm gonna have to figure out from this height here to the bottom, so I've still got room for the AC receiver dryer, filter dryer. And um, this back end where I cut it up for the brake booster nut, I'm just gonna block it. And I'm going to put a, a hole in here just to let the debris out. It looks like I might've lost a fan at one point in its life. And that's where it went through. I didn't notice that before. Or just forgot. Probably forgot. So yeah, I'm going to fix that up. And uh, scrape all that crap off. And do a little more trimming. I don't think it rubs the wheel well anymore. Or the, the tub anymore. So I'm just going to clean those edges up. But first I'm going to get my little air box made. Um, think about what I'm going to do with this patch panel. Which, are they here? I don't even know if I got them here. Might have to go and search them out. Uh, steering shaft, I don't need. Uh, Valiant grill I gotta hang on the wall. My other fender. Hmm. Yeah, there's stuff I need. It's not here. Okay, I gotta go round up some parts. 
Um, but um, in the meantime, I am going to clean up. Oh, yeah. And for some reason, when I mentioned exhaust earlier, I decided to pull that out. Yeah, it's definitely burnt out. We've got a new one coming. Uh, pipe is a little bit difficult to get to. There it is. Uh, yeah, so she's going to sound like a ripper right away when I go to move it out. I hope the exhaust pipe doesn't pull down. Um, i got to take it out for an hour or so tomorrow. So Then that's it. I will continue on. I'll get this door off and pull a cab. Finish those up. Because I don't think that's enough weld to hold the cab on. So we'll get on that. E-brake cable. Got to punch it through the the firewall right here right there somewhere i gotta go find my pedal for it and the brake booster the area around there uh, i'll have to pull a booster and clean it that'll come off when i pull a cab so no big deal steering coupler i have a better one for it so it won't be thumpy anymore fix that angle it isn't much but uh it makes a tight spot in the steering so i've got a u-joint for that um, what else? Yeah, a little hole in the firewall to patch. Once the uh, cab is loose, though, I should be able to make some pretty significant changes to the project here. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so it's basically just a matter of cleaning up and uh, getting ready for tomorrow. And then first step will be putting the donut back in once I get it yeah so that's been a little bit of time all the bolts came out nice I thought everything was fine thread on this truck I guess I forgot about the other side being coarse so yeah better bolts are all coarse thread uh, then what do I got to do oh yes before I pull cab I must uh, chop up the firewall for the AC, HVAC. I might uh, think about getting into the glove box too and cleaning it out. Oh, found this in the door yesterday. So there's one weather strip that goes in there and one that goes there. And that's, whoopsie, that sits on top of the door. Where does it, yeah, it sits on the door like so and the glass. Oh, so the one I have in the glove compartment is there. See, that's where that goes. Mounted to the door, of course. So there's one piece for here, one piece for here. This has yet to come to show up yet, but I got this piece here. I got this piece here. I got this piece here. I got all the weather stripping around there. I got the rubber for the window, the back window. And I got the grommet for the filler neck. Where is it? Right here. Interestingly enough, the steering column is the same diameter, so you know what's going to happen with that, because that is no longer required due to that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. The... Uh, like I say, I got one little job on Wednesday, then this thing comes back in, and uh, I'll put it on the hoist, I think, and then the cab will come off. I got to figure that out. Lift the cab off, and then roll the chassis out? I can't. Boy, that's weird. I'll have to take the box off first. Oh, this is going to be some interesting. Mind you, if I take the box off, I can just roll the cab back onto the onto the frame. Something to consider. Okay, well, I'm just going to clean things up, wrap it up for today, and uh, go let the puppy out, feed her, feed me, and uh, I'll be back 
either tomorrow afternoon or Thursday. As always, I'd like to thank you both for watching, and uh, stay tuned. This project's going to start moving forward.